Greetings, greetings. Welcome to another episode of The Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day with Awakening Within, and today we're gonna go deeper into the top five dreams that people have. The fifth most common dream that I hear about is sex dream, either having sex with somebody or having sex with somebody who's not your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or your husband, wife, girlfriend, or boyfriend having sex with somebody else that's not you. Number four is snake dreams. A lot of people have animal dreams, but the most prevalent animal that I hear about in dreams is snake dreams, what snakes represent in dreams. And number three is going back to school or being back in school or being in a grade that you already passed um, in school. And that's the third most common dream. The second most common dream that I hear about is teeth dreams, uh, teeth falling out most specifically. And the number one most common dream that I hear about is hiding or running from something. So check out those videos um, on dream on those dreams and if you want to know about those. This one here today is about number four, snake dreams. Now just really quick, just go over real basic of dreams. Dreams are messages to you from your inner self, your inner teacher, your subconscious mind to your conscious mind, uh, explaining to you how you've been using your conscious in the last two or three days. It's a language um, of images that your that your mind speak in, and so you have to look at the images because images are the most pure form of communication, and we think in images and everything. So you know the, the messages and images. So you have to understand the images and put those together and identify the form and function. Now, every dream is about you, the dreamer. It's not about other people. Uh, even though other people may be in your dreams, it's about you. This is because all the people, places, and things in your dreams are a part of you. Now, if you want to know more about dreams, check out my book with the link in the description below. Uh, Life is but a dream. Understanding yourself through understanding your dreams. I wrote a book on not only what dreams are, but how teaching people how to interpret their dreams. So animals are habitual creatures. And I don't mean habits like smoking a cigarette or something like that, you know, even though there is a habitual way you're thinking that creates that physical habit, I mean a mental habit. More like when I very first started with metaphysics, I was able to identify with money, I had a habit of thinking, I need more money. That was a habitual thought for me. I would get a bill, I need more money. I wouldn't consciously think that, I would just unconsciously think that. I would get a check. I need more money. You know, whether I got a bill or a check, I still thought I need more money. You know, and so that was a habit for me. And now snakes are very all the way through the line of time of mankind. Snakes have represented uh, the creative energy, the kundalini. This is why the hospital has the symbol that it does of the pole with the two snakes wrapped around it, because the the pole represents your spine, and the two snakes are the kundalini creative energy that moves up your spine. And this is the most powerful energy that we have available to us. It is a divine energy. It is a creative energy. This is the substance that we create with. Now, if a snake is showing up in your dream, it just means that you are using this energy habitually. There is an unconscious way in which you are using this energy. So you want to look at what's the snake doing in the dream. Did the snake bite you? you you know, and that would kind of represent that there is some sort of way that you're creating things in your life that are detrimental to you. So like for me, that un unhabitual thought of, I need more money. I mean, I thought it all the time. If I had to go to Walgreens or the store to get something, just getting, just get, just getting a, a piece of fruit, I would have to walk past all these other items that I may have wanted. But even though I look at it and think consciously, I want it unconsciously, I'm thinking habitually, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money for that. I don't have enough money for that. I don't have enough money for that. I only have enough money for this. So I might have, you know, said I only have enough money for this once, but I un habitually, unconsciously said I don't have enough money maybe 50 times. Then I have to walk to the register. Then I have to pay for it. Then when I'm pulling, <laughs> then when I'm pulling out my money, I may have enough money for it, but I'm looking at all the rest of the money I have. And I don't have enough money. You know, it would just happen so often that I was then creating experiences of not having enough money. It's where even if I wanted to save money, you know, I had an experience of saving up nearly a thousand dollars and then within three or four days because i made a goal of saving up a thousand dollars within three or four days the axle on my truck broke off i couldn't get away from creating experiences of needing more money i was creating that so that might be an experience of having a dream where the snake is biting you or what else happened with the snake sometimes people will like fall into a pit of snakes and they're just there's just snakes everywhere and nothing really is really happening the snakes aren't doing anything to you or anyone else and you're not involved with them but you're just kind of petrified at how many snakes are there maybe that is indicative of the last few days you've kind of become aware of the power of your create how powerful you are at creating things and so you're kind of aware of oh my god i've unconsciously created this you know so maybe for someone who might have had a similar experience of saving up that money and then bam another experience of I need more money and then boom it shows up like wow this thought is creating things in my life that 
new awareness of how you're creating those things might show up in a dream where the snakes are just kind of lying about and there's tons of snakes there and you're realizing how powerful they are and how immense they are and so you just kind of want to look at the context of how the snake is in the dream and apply it to uh, your life and then identify and look at where that's showing up in your life because like i say you know Experiencing dreams is fun, uh, can be fun, <laughs> can be petrifying, terrifying maybe. If, if so, check out the video I have on nightmares and how to alleviate those, what's, what's causing those and how to alleviate those. So I'll put a link up up here for that video. Dreams are fun to experience, they're fascinating to interpret, and they're enlightening to identify where that's showing up in your life, but none of that matters if you don't apply that message into your life. So if a snake is showing up in your dream, you will want to look at what you are wanting to create in your life, um, and who you want to become and the things that you want to create in your life. How are you consciously creating that? What thoughts do you sometimes unconsciously think that are in harmony with that? What thoughts do you sometimes unconsciously think that are out of harmony with that? And then identify more how you can eliminate those other thoughts and put more attention on the thoughts of what you that support what you do want to create in your life because you hold the power. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the don't like button. Um, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. But as always, I leave you in peace.